What I'd like to do, guys, is show you uh, how to factor this x squared minus 11x plus 24. Now, previously, um, what we've done is we remember we've worked on the kind of like the factors, and I showed you guys a way to set it up. So I'm just going to run through this a little bit quick, quickly. And one thing we've talked about was using our quadratic form to help us create a little diamond triangle. Or a diamond triangle. A little diamond, where up top we write our C and our B. So C in this case is going to be my number 24, and my B is going to be negative 11. Now what we did was we wrote a little multiplication <laughs> symbol up here and a little addition symbol down here. So what that told us to do is to take the factors of 24, because those are going to be the two numbers that multiply to give you 24, but then we need to look at a unique set of numbers that are going to add to give us negative 11. Now, there's a little trick with this, and the trick is, if my two numbers are multiplying, that means they either have to be two positive numbers or they have to be two negative numbers. Okay, so we have 24 um, times plus negative 11. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out the factors. And what I was explaining was, so remember the factors are going to be your two numbers that are going to multiply to give you 1. Now 24 times 1 works. Also, and like I said, negative 24 times negative 1 also works. But remember, if we're going to be adding our numbers to get a negative number, would ever adding two positive numbers ever give you a negative number? No. So what we're going to look at is we just need to look at the negative factors. We don't even need to worry about the positive factors. Let's just work out when both factors are negative. So look at negative 24 and 1. Do I add them up equal to negative 11? No. Then we just work down the list until you guys get really comfortable with this and you can start seeing it in your head. Negative 12 and 2? Nope. Negative 8 times 3? Negative 3 gives you negative 11. So all I simply do is I write negative 8 there and negative 3. But remember, why are we doing this? We're not doing this so we can find out those two numbers. We want to create a binomial minus another binomial. And that is part of that factor method. So make sure for these problems that we put it as our factors. All right? And that's how you solve it. Wow.